how to calculate hours worked in Excel using a 24-hour clock. Excel treats date and time formats differently from numbers and text because of the different scale that uh, dates and times used. Uh, we have 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour, etc. So when I format a, a date and time as a date and time, I can perform basic mathematical operations such as addition and subtraction. So here we're going to see how to calculate the hours worked. I have a timesheet of uh, an employee. Now in this one, we see that for the first week, the uh, employees worked a day shift, but from the second week onwards, the employees shifted to the night shift. Both these times are formatted as times, so I can just apply basic uh, subtraction here to get the hours worked. I subtract the out time from the in time, and I get seven hours. So this works fine as long as it is during the day and the out time is greater than the in time. But see what happens when I cross over into the next day. So the out time becomes lesser than the in time. Okay, so now Excel is not able to handle this. So there is a workaround for this to indicate that, uh, you know, to get the correct value. And this is by using the mod function. The mod function returns the remainder or the modulus of a number that is uh, divided by a divisor. So let's do that here. I will say, um, let's uh, delete this and type the mod function. And now the number I want is this formula. And I'm going to just divide it by one. So we know that when you uh, divide the number by one, it will remove the uh, negative part of the number. And I'll say enter. Now, of course, this has no change for the um, first record since there was no issue there. But when I drag this down, I can see that it works perfectly even for the night shift timings because it is able to uh, just take the difference between these uh, timings. And I get the correct values here. So this.